Alright, so this video is going to show you how to take an FPC connector such as this on a um, this is a Kindle Fire. Um, we're going to show you how to desolder this it's using flux and some low melt solder. Um, without actually melting this, you're actually able to reuse this initial piece um, because without using low melt solder and flux, you know, you, you, you're basically going to burn this. This is plastic. Um, so the first thing that we want to do, <coughs> we want to get our soldering guns going. So I'm using a pair of Hacko FN 2023 tweezers. So go ahead and get those warmed up. That beep just lets me know that they're warmed up. I'm going to clean off the tip here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of flux, put it around all the solder joints on this piece right here. Okay, once you get that. Now I'm going to take my low melt solder and actually melt it onto these little connections. And what low melt solder is going to do is it's going to mix with your the original solder just make it much easier to actually pull up this FPC connector without having to use you know excessive amounts of heat like you normally would so I'm just going ahead and putting it on the back side here if you got a little bit of flux it always helps a little bit of extra flux to really mix well. Put a little bit more on this side. Take my low melt again. Get that nice and right. so I got low melt on all the joints now. I'm turn off my soldering gun. We're now gonna switch over to the hot air station right here. Let's get this thing going. I'm going to turn this down to about 280 degrees Celsius. I'm going to add a little bit extra flux here just so that when the heat hits this stuff flux will just help it mix again so we can actually get this piece pulled up from the board again one thing you have to be careful about is that your uh, the air the actual velocity of the air coming out of here is not going to be too high because if it's too high you can actually blow chips around I mean at 280 degrees most likely you're not going to be able to get these chips to uh, you know basically the solder to liquefy but um, you know, just in just in general use, you're going to want to make sure that you keep it at a uh, at a low level, so you are uh, not causing other issues on the board. So I'm just going back and forth. Trying to get this uniformly heated. And the key here is we don't want to melt the plastic. And you can see, I was able to remove that without causing damage to the plastic. 
Now you're gonna have to clean this up a little bit, but you can see the low melt is still stuck. Two parts of this. Let's see if I can get it closer. But you can see that the low melt's still stuck to it. So what we want to do in that case is take a little bit of flux. We can just kind of heat it up a little bit with the gun. And I'm going to be able to take my solder wick and literally just soak it right back up off there. It's clean. So now you can see it still functions, it's still going to flip, which is the key to putting this on another board if you needed to. And everything's good to go. So that is how you can remove an FPC connector without actually damaging it and it being plastic. If you have any questions or comments, just put that, uh, put them down in the uh, comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a great day.